questions. If there are any issues that Council wants to pick up, we will make note of them and um, they will then go through the, the normal channels. So, um, can I just please have a show who actually wants to speak today? Right, thank you. I can see three hands there now. Um, Mr Simpson, uh, would you like to start? I, and then we will follow with, and sorry, I don't know names. Mr Hobbs. Oh yes, Mr Hobbs, I do know. <laughs> Mr Simpson, Mr Hobbs, and... Mrs Wright. Mrs Wright, thank you for that. So many opportunities with this airfield. 
because it seems that with the council staff, there's some kind of agenda, you know, anything that I bring along has dismissed. The council's misinformed, misinformation is given so that you people make decisions based on what the staff have told you, and they have the wrong decisions. You're disadvantaging the community, you're disadvantaging the businesses. My proposal to turn the airfield into a tourist attraction over the summer would have brought in at least 500 people from around the world. That's how many responses I got. People wanted to come from the USA, from Australia, from Europe this summer. Now we're going to spend two and a half million dollars targeting the front of town to bring people into the town. And I was prepared to deliver that for free, as well as turning our airfield into an asset, not a liability. But Mr. Anderson said, oh no, we can't do it. He misinformed council. The information he gave was incorrect. Either Mr. Anderson misunderstands, or he has some other agenda. I don't know what it is, I don't care. Either way, I believe the management of the account of the airfield has to be removed from council staff, or it will never do anything but grow up. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sutherland. Thank you for that. <coughs> Mr. Hobbs. Thank you. 